We're going to have a little surprise for the first match. Our young man spending a little time in the Northwest. A full house crowd at the Portland Sports Arena. Here to see the world champion and maybe see that title change hands. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The first event this evening will be one fall. Introducing in this corner, 280 pounds from New York City, Kreischer Stasiak. His opponent in this corner, 235 pounds from Hawaiian Island, just back from a long tour of the East Coast, Jimmy Afey. Right here is Andy Barr. Shiva, Jimmy Afey, or Afey. We understand he's improved a great deal since he left here, and he was doing pretty cut and picking good here. He and Rocky Johnson are related, incidentally, by marriage. Rocky married, I believe, a cousin of Jimmy Afey's. Mrs. Johnson, incidentally, a princess over in the islands and a beautiful one at that, I might add. Well, how much are we going to be heard tonight? We'll have to wait and see. There is a Tuesday show coming up this week. A world champ, whoever it might be, whether it be Ric Flair or Hack Sawyer or somebody else. Will be defending their title. Flair will be here whether he has the title or not on that Tuesday card. Buddy Rose is the one insisting that he should be able to get the winner. The winner of tonight's match between Ric Flair, the NWA world champ, and Hacksaw Sawyer. I, the reason I brought it up so early is that we were a sellout before the doors opened here tonight. All the reserved seats are sold out. I believe we've had to turn some away. So I'm going to quickly give you the information about tickets. 289-4222 tomorrow. Tomorrow. Usually that ticket office is not manned on Monday. So I'll tell you Sunday and Tuesday. And then remind you that you can come out and buy the tickets and not have to wait in line to pick them up if you come out to the flea market here at the sports arena tomorrow. I'm uh, just giving you a fair warning because we're expecting another sellout for the appearance of the world champion. Wouldn't it be great for the local fans? See Hacksaw take the title? Well, we'll know in a couple hours. And remember, Larry the Axe and Kurt Henning are going after the Army tonight also. We don't know what we're going to have on television yet. But what you don't hear, you can hear on KYXI tomorrow morning. 818, 918, and 1018. Three reports, wrestling wrap-up. Alfie coming back, swinging it. Stanislaus. Stasiak. Dan the man. Wall to wall wrestling fans at the old sports arena tonight. Excitement in the air. Stasiak with the hold. That's it. They got so many seats down on the floor that those front rows in a few places aren't but three feet away from the ring. <laughs> we may have some of them going out among them tonight. Good week to mention, I think. 
That's uh, where you get frequent jibes about the phoniness of wrestling. Local anonymous columnist. He'll remain anonymous as far as I'm concerned. Talked about it. Well, Andy Kaufman, the television comedian, also thought it was uh, phony and got into the ring with Gary Lawler. Andy Kaufman's in the hospital, so anybody else wants to test the same theory about it being phony, come to me and I'll uh, I'll set up a few minutes in the ring with you. With with a wrestler of your choice, maybe somebody obese. Staying in the match is don't try that again. It didn't work too well. Lock up. Shot in the midsection on the back of the head. Everywhere I look, I see wrestling fans, and I do believe they had to lock the doors, turn some away. Should be like this all week, so when we tell you the towns where wrestling is, you folks there be sure and try to get your tickets early. The champ's going to be in all the towns. A colorful Rick Flair. Stasiak with a claw hold. Base of the neck. Dandy Sandy Barr is the referee. Trying to break the hold. Sandy <laughs> Barr taking the word from the crowd. And I'll tell you, size of this crowd, I think I might do that also. If I were in there officiating. Could be a night in history. It would not only be Northwest history if the world title changed hands tonight, but it would be world history because Hexar would become the youngest heavyweight champion of the world ever. He's already at 20, the youngest Northwest champion. Crazy up, but he shot to the midsection, and another one. Hoppy. Little upset, so let's get it on. Downstairs, head back. Crazy up with rubbery legs. Holds down to the concrete, trying to shake it off. They lock up. Sejia goes to the eyes, coming with the heart punch. Oh, no, he blocked it. And back with a headbutt. The legs turn into jelly. Right cross. Sejia drops to the canvas. The whip. Threw in a little judo chop. Caught him right in the solar plexus. Stasiak gets him on the roll. Peace choking. Working on young Alfie. And he's going to be DQ'd. He failed to break it when he was warned. Alfie wins it on a DQ. All you folks out there. I want you to get a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil. I'll mention that next Saturday night, Mitch Mitchell. 
That goes 250 or more. Comes out of Mississippi. A wild man who claims he can run all the wrestlers out of the Northwest. That's Mitch Mitchell. Will be making his debut next Saturday night. And then in May, watch for Dutch Schultz, 265 pounder that I uh, understand really gives out some trouble. We'll take a quick look at Dave Schultz. Calls himself Dr. D once in a while, probably for destruction. We'll have to wait and see when he gets here. All right, if we're ready, here's where action is all this week. And going into a week from tomorrow, the world champion on all these cards, to my knowledge, Finley over near the Tri-Cities in Oregon. Monday, Super Card at the college there in Longview. Tickets to the locker room next Tuesday, a special card here in Portland at Sports Arena. Wednesday, the Super Shootout. They've got about three main events down there, Wednesday in Seattle. Thursday in Salem at South Salem High School. The champ is going to defend his title against Rocky Johnson. Friday in Eugene, Rocky gets a shot if he doesn't take it Thursday. I know Elton Owen's got a big one down there. Ric Flair and all those cards, remember, a heavyweight champion of the world. And a quick reminder now, anybody who beats Flair picks up the champ's schedule for a period of about a month so that uh, you're guaranteed if we say the world champion's going to be there, he is going to be there. And Ric Flair, if he loses the title, uh, agrees to meet two weeks of bookings. So you know you're going to see the world champion even if it isn't Ric Flair. And if Ric Flair is defeated, you know you're going to see him. In most cases, he would get a rematch the next night against whoever took the title away from him. That is just the traditional way of doing it. But you can rest assured that you'll see him, whether he's still a heavyweight champion or not. We'll be right back. We're going to take a short time out and hear from one of our sponsors. And I have no one nearly telling me. Nobody special. Well, I'm sure they're special. Because, but nobody regular. How about that? We'll be right back.